Well, Rich Cannon, a big win for the Indianapolis Colts. Not that it really meant anything, but in terms of being sharp and, and being precise and keeping their momentum, it, it filled every category. It really did. I was impressed with the fact that they have had so many injuries, particularly along the defensive line. The young players came in, played very well. They got after Houston. They created some turnovers, made Sage Rosenfeld uh, turn the ball over. And, of course, Peyton Manning on offense. They were electrifying. They attacked. They ran the ball much better. So they look like they're firing on all cylinders as they head into the playoffs. They play next week against Tennessee. Do you think they'll keep the same kind of uh, schedule in terms of how long the starters play, their, their purpose for the game, even though it means nothing? I think they will, and I think there's a reason why. I think Marvin Harrison has a chance to be back next week. I think he'll probably play 20, maybe 25 plays in that game. I think it's important for Peyton Manning and him to get on the same page in terms of the timing, the rhythm in the passing game. I think he'll get some work, and they want to make sure some of those other players that are injured can get a chance to play a little bit. So I think it might be a little bit of a different approach for the Colts next week. The Texans were really looking at this game as a chance to measure where they were. It was not much of a measurement. No, I think they found out that they still have a ways to go. They still have a lot of work ahead of them. This is a, a much better football team than they played today than they played 10 days ago against Denver. I thought they looked very sharp last week against Denver, probably as good as they've played all season, and yet today they couldn't match that same energy, that same output against a much, a much better Indianapolis Colts football team. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. All right, uh, that's all for now. Tune in next weekend for more NFL action on CBS Sports. Our coverage begins at noon Eastern with the NFL today and throughout the week. Stay on top of all the latest NFL news and coverage from around the NFL at CBSSports.com. Merry Christmas from Indianapolis, Indiana.